What has become of this city? There used to be laws. Justice. Not anymore. Crime is out of control. Cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey! Who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa! Whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get, get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find his cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My lord, the filthy Moorish are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta get inside, my liege. You are only hope. Stand inside or die! We're going through that door! You can't! Oh yeah, why not? Because everything in front of here is lava! Oh, dude, no way! All that is lava? Yep, everything from here to here is lava, you can't cross it! Shit! Come on, let's get inside! We can't, they're seeing everything in front of the door is lava! Oh, that's not fair! Who do we do, the king? What do you do now? You die! Release the dragon! Gosh! Stay out of the street, damn kids! Clear! What a hiding! Oh shit! Dragon Slayer! Oh well, my god, he defeated the dragon! No frickin' way! That kid's amazing! Speak, Bard! What happened to the Stick of Truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish. Unhand him, you heathens! Release the bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right! And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> the wizard is gone! My name is the king. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and Fred. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the hundred dollar reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now and you guys are dorks. Let's see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks 
looks pretty old. Maybe he just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human Kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast Pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on Fast Pass to get there fast. Super Craig! Super Craig, this is Coon. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, wait. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so... Fuck off, okay? <sighs> Alright, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephernacy device. It's over there. Well, that took long enough. Stephernacy device active. <laughs> You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Alright, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. So the first thing we need... Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night, like so many other nights. You couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swam out in the hallway. You saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your blaster powers. Ultimate attack. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. <laughs> yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue. But it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Mr. Chaos! That's right, Coon! I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now. We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. Who the hell are you? Really? You sent a newbie to my distress call? You're such a dick, Coon! Sorry, kid, but my problem is too big for a rookie. A few days ago, there was an anomaly in the universe. 
Another version of me, the human kite from an alternate dimension, showed up here and is destroying everything. Right now, it's upstairs in my room. I don't think anything can stop it. The human kite from another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've got to really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Uh, zoom. Oh, hey, Kyle, I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe, it is time for you to go back to your universe. What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe. We're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my power. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be human kite. But he said, you can't be human kite. I'm human kite. And I said, well, why can't we be human kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be human kites together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New Kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. <laughs> you ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay, Rav Kite from an alternate universe. Stuff really hurts. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphor phonique for my ear because I got a scrape on it by being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. Ah, there you are, butthole. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? It's okay. You totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you because your dad fucked your mom when you were a child. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. You'll find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on. You'll find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. You can even craft your own. Just remember, with great power comes great chicks and money. We'll be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can't eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so, so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women. What superhero are you? Super great. Oh my god, the mission! My fellow superheroes, I've completely forgotten! Back away, temptresses! Mosquito knows what you were trying to do! Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are mosquitoes kryptonite! You gotta get me out of here! Uh, well, okay then, here's your bill! <laughs> I think not! You tried to charm me, I will not pay this bill! You have to leave a tip, asswipe! They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid! Let's do this! Huh, those witches are my kryptonite, and you must have saved me just in time. I'm forever in your debt. But, hero, what is your kryptonite? Dude, you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against. Any particular phobas? Any emotional hang-ups? I mean, come on, there's gotta be something. Look, it's okay, I'm on your team, but kid You can tell me. Alright, alright, let me see your character sheet. I'm done. Your kryptonite is officially noted. No, Mosquito must be off. Call on me if you should need me, Coon Ran. Oh, hi. You're the new kid, right? Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. 
Okay, new kid, it's, it's really simple. When, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply, you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now uh, uh, I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short. Okay. So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. <laughs> just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't, you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt, huh? okay? Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye now, okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. Even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. Okay. Out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're gonna have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Well, well, well. If it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before, but you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're teepeeing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the hard sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. It will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Oh, hey, I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. God damn it! I can't put a child in a dark room for two minutes without you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 mil Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm going to upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm going to let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're going to need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. 
You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power! And so you beat them! You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened! You saw your dad fuck your mom. And from then on you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cunin friend alert! Cunin friend alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! It's the Cunin friend alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ah! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Twig? Yeah, I remember! So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me! I like Coon and Friends! Because you had your own movies! Thank God you're here! They're really going at it! Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced! It made no sense otherwise! Your whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors! This was started by you! By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes! We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit, come on. Coon, what happened? Timmy got away? He... he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his... his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. What girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Cartman, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom stop, and- Stop, stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, Butto. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. Doing even talking to the school counselor. Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic.
sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. gentleman with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, Sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Fuck, bitch. Let's see how you like this. I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick. Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive. I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here. Hey, give me my keys. You are in no condition, sir. I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! and bring peace to the city. You don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Kuhn made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, Sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. Here's where we're going to find the girl. There are sure to be unsavory characters and lots of boobies inside. Okay, we made it inside the strip club. Ladies are really, uh, moving. Well, don't freak out, Sidekick. We're superheroes. We can handle this. One of these ladies has information about the missing cat. But who? There's only one thing we can do. We have to pick someone and take him to the VIP room. Find someone and meet me then. Hey, Sidekick. Good luck, huh? That's okay. I found a couple guys. Remember to just play along. Hey, you two girls ready to party? So this is your friend, huh? She's fucking hot as fuck. That's right. Wouldn't you like to take her to VIP? I don't know. She's kind of short. I like her short. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick. You know what this means. Take chat time. Chat time? Aw, oh, man. So, what kind of work do you guys do? And have you ever danced with a girl here who has a penis tattoo? Why do you keep talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo? Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course! Hence the tattoo! We have the name, new kid! Come on! What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever! Yeah, all I did was get farted on! You ain't going nowhere! Haha! I am the ordinary stripper! I am Captain Diabetes! What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you! You won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes! Let's get back to the main floor! All right, guys, hope you're having a good night out there. Be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches names, and then the bitches come out of that back room. Nugget, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. I got it. Jen and Thomas always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. Alright, someone finally bought the DJ a drink. That's really nice of you. That went down really good. The DJ sure does appreciate it. Oh, oh man, I think someone farted in my drink, guys. I'll be right back. Be sure to tip your waitress. Great work, new kid. Wow. Alright, guys, put your hands together. Be sure to tip your waitress. Things are about to get a little bit hot on the stage. Please welcome Classic. 
Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an I and a little dick to fuck the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute. You ain't the DJ. That must be her new kid. Oh, shit. It's 5 -oh. Cops are here. After her. They after me, lady. Stop them. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, lady. Captain Darby and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. I can't mix up in this combat shit. I'm fucked up. Go get him, Boote. Look out, ladies and gents. Here comes the queen of creepies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Boote. Hey, honey. You ain't ready for this Boote. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. Come here, baby. Go on, scram! I ain't afraid to use this thing. Come on, you kid! Into the restaurant! You don't have any insulin, I'm going into diabetic shock! Mom! I'm, I'm dying! Oh god! Mom! Mom, I'm dying! Somebody, please! Please! <gasps> I'm alive? What happened? Who are you? Huh? Wait a minute. What happened? I thought I died from diabetes. I remember seeing a bright light. The hand of God reaching towards me. Then somebody farted in my face and I was back. I can almost still smell it. Wow, your farts can actually move objects in time. That's impressive. Now let's get back to that stripper. Two friends. We found a female, but she's escaped to the Italian restaurant. Requesting that. You heard him. All conference to the book of the faggot genie. He was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy syncing our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Moby, what is this? Oh, man. We gotta tell the guy. Coon. Yes, yes, Captain Diabetes. We found missing cats. A whole room of them. Dude, is Scrambles one of them? Uh, negative. None of them are fat and old. Then what about the girl? We're still tracking her. We have to find out what she knows. Get going. We so close, I can smell it. Come on, sidekick. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, Diabetes! you the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? Let's get it up, Classy! These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano looking motherfuckers. So long, Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now. Uh-oh. Ah, what the? I want my keys. I don't have your keys, man. Ah! Ah! He's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain. Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. Hey, 
Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note and tell my wife fuck off because I'm fighting. Poop emoji. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a cab. Sir, nobody drinks and cries on Captain Diabetes' watch. Aye, aye, shit. Look, all I know is there's a kingpin trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit, y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's his little Asian freak named Yaki Baba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park! Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Buca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now. Who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are going to learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. Oh, it's you again. Sup, hero. Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, Fast Pass, one of your super homies is here. 
Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead. Have at it. Go ahead, new kid. Ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a antsy. I right, look, I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. Well, all right, fine. Looks like you got more work to do, new kid. But before you go back out in the world, I want to show you something that might help your crime fighting. Let's get up to my room. Get bed. All right, new kid. It's time to take your superpowers to the next level. Go ahead and stand in the DNA fibrillator. All right, new kid. Just stand still, and I'll talk you through this. You made a real mistake when you attacked us. You really think you're tough shit, don't you? Well, it's time for you to meet someone. Say hi, Rebecca. I'm gonna break you in half and stick you up my butt. A thousand people just disliked the picture of me in ballet class on Instagram! I'm totally getting trolled right now! What the F? Heather, why'd you tweet that I was going out with Eric Cartman? I didn't! I'm totally getting trolled right now, too! What the fuck? What the fuck? I just lost all my followers! I have to get to a computer! What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello, new kid. Don't worry. I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They will be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. What do you think? You think girls are just as good a gamers as you boys? You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on Call Girl. Watch your back, handsome! Over here. I'm big! Will you deal with him, please? Look, Cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle, I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. Okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now Human Kite shall use his Hebrew faith to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmeo Shigina. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly into... Oh, Jesus, it came off! Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle! Then give up! Don't worry, Super Buddy Cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> and Sheila! These kids are picking on me! What, what, what? Who's picking on you? Mom, are you okay? Going, guys. Kyle, get inside and call the police. We have to get these kids arrested. No, no, Mom. No police. This is all my fault. What? Look, it's just... I, I couldn't take my cousin copying everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look, my kite's up in a tree. I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyle and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some back team. Oh, I hate back team because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. I see you've also come to assist in assuring Classy's cooperation. Please, after you. Oh, is your friend looking for an energizing mental feeling or more of a full body high? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll send over our expert bud tender who can help you out. 
Hey, you want to get high? Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, wow, Tally. Thought you went to rehab. Yeah, I did, but now I'm back in South Park. Clean and sober, almost a year. Clean and sober, no drugs at all. And I tell you what, I don't miss it! And you work here in a pot store? Cannabis, Eric, and yeah, it's great. Now I get high, helping people cure their insomnia, back pain, migraines, and stress, naturally. Did you know the ancient Chinese gave cannabis to their infants for teething? Huh? I have an addictive personality, so I'm cool without it. And now I got a kid with my lady, so better to stay on the straight and narrow, you know? You have a kid, right? It turns out I had one the whole time. I was too high to realize. Now I'm holding down a job and paying the rent. But I'm also doing good helping people find the herbal remedies they need to combat all the modern stresses of a job and taxes and traffic and a wife breathing down my neck about an apartment in a town and we got a leak. Why, why can't you fix it? I'm not a plumber, bitch. I'm a towel, not a fucking plumber. Okay, we're, we're here to pick up our friend's medicine. Her name is Classy. Oh, Classy. Yeah, Classy with a Y with the clit hanging off it, coming around and licking the shit out of the sea? No, 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 no. It's uh, Classy with a dick hanging off the eye that's fucking the L out of the ASS. Oh, that Classy. Sure, I got her order. There she is. See, she likes the banana kush for her back pain and some of the platinum OG to wait. What the fuck? Who put the chillax kush in with the OG mellow bliss? What the fuck, you retards? People don't want to mix their mellow with their chill. They'll get all fucked up. God, fuck. Hey, hey, Tally, it's cool. Relax. No, it is not fucking cool. I'm trying to run a legitimate business here, and my back hurts. I can't sleep. I got no appetite. This shitty town is so fucked up. We gotta buy all our product from fucking sixth graders. And who knows what the shit they're putting in it. And then to top it off, I got a couple of little dick liquors coming into my store telling me to fucking relax. Fuck you. You relax. Yeah, this is for Classy. Yeah, I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. But come by any time for a hookup. Here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better hand my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fast Pass. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken dead. The you store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast Pass. Uh, uh. Fast Pass. Uh, uh. Fast Pass. Uh, uh, uh. Fast, fast Pass. That guy's pass out! Hey, kid. You're that farting vigilante from the news, right? Not a talker, eh? Well, Sergeant wants to have a few words with you over at the station. Oh! Oh, what do we have here? You're the one who made the news last night, huh? Well, the police can always use the help of concerned citizens. I guess we can give our little junior detective a special kitty case to work on. Give you this junior detective badge. Pretty neat, huh? Now get out there! You should have him in sight. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Engage! Engage! Holy shit, you're the real deal, superhero. That's one less violent degenerate this town has to deal with. Please come by and help us again. Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. Now, I got some, uh, some feedback from the principal that uh, our discussion about sex, I, I mean about gender, wasn't uh, precise enough. And, uh, well, he, he gave me some guidelines how to do a more, uh, uh, thorough pass, helping you identify your gender. Okay. Is the gender that you were assigned with at birth the gender that you currently identify with? Okay. Great, so as you know, that means that you're cisgendered. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about with your gender is your sexuality. Now, a lot of people think that gender and sexuality are the same, but no, that's bi. That's wrong, it's bi. Okay. Now, how would you describe the sex of the kinds of people you find yourself, uh, sexually attracted to? That makes you straight or heterosexual, okay? Well, I'm really glad we had this talk, okay? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime.
Hey, it's that boy! Yeah, they're cisgender! And they're heterosexual, too! We don't take kindly to your types around here! Let's welcome this thing to our town! Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. This time, please move the fuck along or I will fuck you up non-lethally. I will beat you until my shift is over, sir. Uh, yes, no problem. I've got it right here. Hang on a second. Dang it, let me look in. Oh, wrong drawer. Can you hold on just a minute? I'm sorry. No problem, sir. Did you maybe write the password down anywhere, sir? Like a notepad or something? Yes, yes, must be something. Let's see. Let me check in this drawer. Ha! Ah, looks like I need to find my glasses here. Hold on. Maybe it's my middle name? Could you, could you try my middle name? Okay, sir, I tell you what. Let's just look up your account profile and get a new password for you. If you can just hang on a line here. Bro, he's got a temper on him. Choose your moment now. Hey, who the hell are you? You can't just break in here. Engage! Go, go, go! Brilliant work, hero. You're really getting into the program. You understand exactly what we're doing, and you're doing it right along with us. Meet me back at the station. I've got something for you. Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah! But Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Right behind you, Mosquito. <laughs> Butt Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Okay, but if you're going to be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror, and in the mirror you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hall. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. What hit him as he slinked back into the shadows. That kid's like some kind of super assassin. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, Butt Lord. You still have a lot of things to do. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadget tier class visionary archetype. And a butt fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ha ha! Ah! Ah! You think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair! At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Timmy! You call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? 
Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, freedom pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Who did friends assemble? Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II is going down! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses! You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it! New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right! You guys are DC Comics, we're Marvel! Fucking asshole, you guys have Zack Snyder direct your fucking movies. You have potential, kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass! Alright, everyone. But Lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U store entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit! There has to be a way to get past it. There is. Tool shed. Tool shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Tool shed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Tool shed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well. Looks like you're gonna come in handy again, Bud Lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Toolshed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor return. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store in tonight. To bed, everybody! Coon friends are on the cape. Go on home, Bud Lord. If all goes according to plan, Toolshed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Toolshed is a two faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him, our child did! But you confirmed it when the principal called you! How long before they find out everything? Our little boy is hurting, don't you get it? He's asking questions about his race and sexual orientation because he's confused! Confusion was the point! The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore! Now, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. Whoever's <laughs> in these things are making you crazy! Crazy? Like telling the world who our child is that we took so long to hide? Hey kiddo, listen, I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Turks. Night night, punk. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Cooning friends. Hashtag fuck freedom pass. So, we meet again, new kid. I have to put our petty differences aside. There's something happening to this city, and it needs tool shed. Well, follow me to Professor Chaos's lair. Coon friends assemble! Well, well, the butt-fucking traitor actually showed up. Hey, whoa, whoa, nah. -uh. I said I'd help the new kid, not you losers. Yeah, well, the new kid is a coon friend, and coon friends work together, douche. Come on, we need to get inside this fence. Yeah, tool shed, that's what the new kid wants. Fine. As long as there's a power generator nearby, I can use my dad's sandblaster to clear almost any obstacle. Wow, that is fantastic. That's got it. Coon and friends, let's go. Let's get one thing straight, Shed. I don't trust you. You make one move out of line and I'll shred you. I'm only here for the new kid, fat ass. After tonight, we're sworn enemies again. All right, Classy said the cats all go to one of these storage facilities. Everyone fan out. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow, meow. What'd you find? The fuck? <laughs> Hello, coon friends. Coon and friends. Come into my parlor. I've bought more tinfoil and more minions than you can possibly fathom. I've been given $20,000 to keep nosy people away from this place. What? 20000 just to keep people from snooping around. But I only need a few hundred for that. So you know what I'm gonna do with all the rest? 
go to Paris to get a penile enhancement and fuck French chicks? Super Craig. Rogue! I'm going to destroy this town and prove that I'm the bad guy, not this new kingpin jerkhead. So long, coon friends. Minions? No, minions, you gotta kill them. Ah, oh, dang it. God damn it. All right, let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. I see you. You didn't really think I wouldn't have a backup plan, did you? Do you not comprehend how many minions $20,000 can buy? Butters, will you just go home? We're trying to find a missing cat. I don't think so, coon friends. Butters, actually, if somebody gave you a bunch of money, by law, that money belongs to our franchise. All of us. Oh, no, you see, more cash means more minions. Let's see how you handle this. God only knows. You guys take the alley over there. Super Craig and I are hitting the rooftops. Chaos went to wrap an entire truck in aluminum foil. That's not the problem. Is aluminum foil really what you guys are concerned with? Who the fuck is that? You were right about the Italian restaurant, new kid. The owner is a part of a new crime syndicate. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Well, she's not in the union. Excuse me, are you on Coonstagram? There's someone new in town who's bringing all the crime families together. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. Y you mean like a kingpin? You guys do not say anything. We're not playing with her. Check out storage facility 56D, new kid. And here, take this. Call me if you need me. I think you're gonna need all the help you can get. So I guess now any fucking asshole thinks they can be a superhero. Come on, let's just find scrambles and be done. You guys see Scrambos here? Oh shit, lava! <laughs> Can you stop fucking around, Chaos? Not Professor Chaos, his partner in crime. General Disarray! Careful, he's a ginge. Do you know what Professor Chaos has planned for this city? Look kid, you and Butters are taking this way too far. Yeah, it's time to teach you a lesson. That won't be as easy as you think. I think that's the last of them. Don't count on it. We should make it. Wait, wait. Super Craig? Oh my god. Super Craig? Super Craig, just hold tight. Shit, there's no air compressor here. No way I can remove that lava. Hang on, Super Craig. We're gonna find something to plug Tool Shed Sand Blaster into. You and I both know I'm already dead. No, Super Craig. We're gonna find a way to save you. Do something to us, Ed. There's nothing here. My sand blaster needs compressed air to work. Get the one from the entrance. The gate slammed and locked shut, remember? It's okay, guys. We all knew when we signed on to be Coon friends that it might end like this. Stay calm, Super Craig. We're gonna get you home. Sorry, Coon, but it looks like this was a one-way trip. No, Super Craig, no! Somebody get a goddamn air compressor! Dude, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Do you know what kind of fart power someone would need to make that work? Jesus Christ, that's an asshole? What? What happened? The new kid shoved a tube up his ass and cleared away all the lava. Oh. You guys go and get chaos. I've got to try and stabilize Super Craig. Ow! Fuck! It's Q. What the fuck was that, you asshole? It's an intracardiac injection, Super Craig. I had to stabilize you. Are you fucking serious right now? You could have fucking killed me. Where the fuck did you get that, Cartman? Online. Super Craig, just stay still. You suffered a lot. You guys go ahead. I'm going to just try and stabilize him. Hey, that was really cool back there. Now we can clear lava whenever we want. We need to get up to that water tower platform so we can do some fart core magic. Forget it, order lovers. This is a chaos only zone. Also, you need to shut that kid up. He's super annoying. Wow. You 
can see everything from up here. Mm. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Who is that? Oh my god, that's the vigilante. That's right, the king. And some little fat kid, too. This cat, where is it? That's some real high grade shit there. Cat like that would go to the boss man himself. You idiot! You don't talk about him! Now we gotta kill these shits! Like you could use some help! Good work, new kid. I'm glad I'm not the only one taking this seriously. Alright, look! It ain't us, okay? The big man has all the crime families working together. The Italians, the Russians, the sixth graders, they all work for him. We just put the cat urine in the drugs and alcohol. Who is the big man? He don't even do it for the money, man. It's like, it's like he wants more crime in the streets. Wow, that sounds spooky. You don't even know spooky, man. We got to do this if they tell us. Don't you get it? We're already dead for telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the fuck? Oh my god. He's gonna declare the entire town lava. Well, well, you actually made it to the end, Coon Friends. Coon and Friends, butters, goddammit! And now you know that you are too late. All of South Park is about to be covered in lava. Just think about it. Everywhere will be off limits. Everyone will have to just stay where they are, forever. The park will be lava. The Dairy Queen will be lava. It'll be absolute chaos. <laughs> I'm out to fight like a man, chaos. Oh, I am much more than a man now, Mosquito. I have finally bought enough tinfoil to piece together my greatest weapon yet. Greetings. I'd like you to meet Mecha Minion Chaos Supreme. Es un trabajo. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> Prepare to meet your end, coon friends. Coon and friends. That does it. This asshole dies now. Tienes que enviarme, Jackie. No, no, come back, minions. All right, chaos. Talk. Who gave you the money to do all this? Butter, wake up. I think he's dead, dude. He's not dead. Uh, fellas, I think we better get him back to base. All right, come on. Let's take him to the holding cell. The holding cell? Oh, jeez, it, it's kind of late, fellas. I should get home or I'm gonna be grounded. You should have thought of that before you tried to lava the town, Chaos. Hey, dude. It was great working with you again, man. It was like old times. Yeah, well, I told you. This was a one-shot deal. I only helped out because I owed the new kid a favor. Come on, Shed. Come back to the team. Can't do that, Kite. Freedom Pals is gonna make way more money with their franchise. You're wrong. We're gonna make like a billion dollars! We're gonna make like a zillion dollars. What if the person paying Butters wasn't a kid? I is that it, Chaos? Were you paid by an adult? I'm telling you, I don't know his name, fellas! Nobody does! He's just trying to unite all the crime families in town! He's everywhere! He's nameless! Faceless. He can change his appearance like the wind changes direction. Wait, what did you say? He says there's a revolution coming, and the darkness of our own hearts will bring about our undoing. Oh my god. He, he is that which liberates, and he knows the true weakness of tolerance, and his coming will bring about a tide of chaos like nothing we've never seen, you mentioned. Oh my god. Could it be? No, it's impossible. What's impossible? There's only one person I know of who can disguise himself so easily, and it's the same person who might have a motive for tearing South Park apart. Oh, Mitch Connor. Mitch Connor? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who's Mitch Connor? It's Carbon's dumbass hand puppet. You know damn well that Connor was just using my hand to suit his needs. At first, he disguised himself as Jennifer Lopez, who loves tacos and burritos. When his cover was blown, he was arrested by the police, but escaped. But why would he want to take down South Park? And where would he get all his money? Shut up! It's not Mitch stupid fucking Connor! How do you know? No, Kyle is right, you guys. It couldn't be Mitch Connor. Connor died in an oil rig explosion in northern Alaska. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. Yes, yes, good idea, humankind. 
Everyone get back to your homes. It's getting late. Let's all reconvene tomorrow. After... And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park! The South Park vigilante struck again last night, this time at a meth lab in the downtown New Stort facility. Here with more is a midget in a fedora. Tom, six people were arrested last night after the vigilante exposed a huge meth lab in the storage facility behind me. Eyewitnesses have come forward with shocking reports that the vigilante's farts were so awful they seemed to actually rip the fabric of time. You ain't never heard a fart like this, man. It was like one minute he farted on my dick and the next thing my dick was like 20 seconds in the past. Finally, someone is standing up to all the crime in this city. If you ask me, these people here all deserve to be farted on. He's a menace if you ask me. How long before this vigilante gets radical and blows up a school or a church, huh? How long before Captain America becomes Captain Ideology? Huh? The third Captain America movie? How long was that? About six years? About six years! Dozens of protesters gathered outside the police station today as a warrant was issued for the vigilante's arrest. This city will not be victimized by mass crusaders who sneak around and fart on people at night. We urge all citizens to arm themselves and fight against this kind of rectal oppression. Yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. kid, right? My name's Wendy. Nice to have you at our school. That little problem call girl told you about? It's a lot worse. The Chamber of Commerce wants to get rid of the vigilante no matter what it takes. You know the bathrooms in the park? Call girl wants you to meet her there. Right now. I think it's wrong they make cisgendered people share a bathroom. It must be so hard for you. Anyway, I've got a problem, new kid. I'm like you, an outsider. I've been watching as adults in our town act stranger and stranger, but nobody will listen to me. I started cross-referencing everyone's Instagrams to see what kind of connection I could find. And that's when it happened. Somebody canceled my cellular data plan. My phone is dead. Whoever did this has to pay. I'm going to the mobile company to find out what happened. I can't go alone. I'm asking for your help, new kid. I think you're the only one who understands. If I can't use my mobile devices, I can't save this town. Let's go find out what's wrong with this place. Welcome to D-Mobile. Can I help you? Grab people. Grab people. Look like grab wicked mobile stores like people. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of problems connecting to the internet. Your name and D-Mobile number, please. Your name and D-Mobile number, please. Wait a minute, you aren't the people who worked here last week. That's right, we are grab people. Shh! We are glad people to work in this fine place. Can I interest you in a new contract with up to five gigabytes of data per month? No, I just want my phone to work right. Answer the human! How dare you shout our data plan? I knew it. The phone company's been taken over by crab people. She's on to us. Call girl, save us! Come on, you kid. Let's wipe the floor with him. Call girl. Oh, thank you, Call Girl. I don't know what those things were, but they smelled like crab and kissed like people. How can we repay you? Just get my phone working again, all right? Yes, yes, of course, Call Girl. Thanks for saving the mobile store once again. Thanks, new kid. But I have a feeling this isn't over. If you smell crab, call me. Coon friends, these are dark times. We now know for a fact that Scrambles the Missing Cat is part of a larger conspiracy. We also know that the fucking Freedom Pals have more information about this conspiracy than we do. Fact. Maybe we should just face it, guys. Maybe Freedom Pals have a better super franchise than we do. Hey, that's no way to talk, Mosquito! 
The only reason that Freedom Pals are ahead of us right now is because they're butt fucking cheaters who sold out. Yeah, but Freedom Pals have Dr. Timothy and he can read people's minds and bend reality. Yeah, because he just said that. When we made up our superpowers, he was like, well, I have every power to do fucking everything. You think that's fair? It's time for us to be as dirty as them. We have to know what the Freedom Pals know. Well, how, how are we ever going to get the help of the Freedom Pals? We send a spy. Someone in our group who pretends to want to switch sides and join Freedom Pact. Somebody who they don't know very well. The new kid joins Freedom Pals, then asks for assistance investigating the community scene. Hope the new kid is good at bullshitting. You'll never get past the security grids. They change it every day. I can get the new kid inside. I've got hacking abilities, remember? Because I'm a gadgeteer class with the tinkering ability. No dice, Chaos. You're just saying that to get out of jail. You better let him go. The new kid will need him. All right, fine. Beep, beep, beep. beep. Get the new kid inside Freedom Pal's base. Okay! If he tries anything funny, kill him. No. No. That's not it. What's this? No. No. Oh, here we go. My minion! Hey, little guy, are you ready to go hack some control panels? All right, let's get to Freedom Pal's base. Ah! Where have you been, mister? Oh, hey, Dad. But, but, but I just I just been hanging out with my new, new, new friend and I You didn't come home last night, Butters. Your mom and I were worried sick. We could barely enjoy the movie we were watching. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just my new friend and, and just, just really mean to Sorry's not gonna cut it, mister. And you, what's your name? You gotta say something. You don't understand. I asked you a question. Who are you? Please, please don't do this. That does it. Butters, you are grounded! And so is your smart-ass little friend! <sighs> hey, what'd you make that for, new kid? Well, what are you doing, new kid? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh! Oh, uh, geez, geez new kid, I, I don't know. Well, all right, but be careful with him. I grounded you. How could you be here right now? It, it wasn't me, Dad. It was a new kid. You have some kind of ability to unground people? Whoever you touch becomes ungrounded, is that it? Your evil magic is not welcome here, Darkling. You're grounded for life! I, I, I am, but I don't feel grounded. Hey guys, I'm not grounded! I'm ungroundable! Freedom Pals Peace! Meet me outside the Freedom Pals School for the Gifted and Talented. Gee whiz, would you look at this! Wow, now this is a superhero base! Holy smokes, they got a training room and computers and lights! Well, this beats the crap out of Coon's base, huh, new kid? Gee, I can play here every day! What are you doing here? Oh, hey, uh. Hey, Mysterion! Well, we were just hoping to speak with Dr. Timothy. Why? Uh, the new kid wants to switch franchises and I told him I'd help. Hey, new kid. Thought you might end up here. They're here to spy on what Timothy is working on. I see we rip him to shreds. Calm down, everyone. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, God. It's him. This is a fairly shocking change of heart for you, Professor. You really wish to help the new kids switch franchises? Well, yeah. 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 You know, we just thought that, you, you know, your franchise seems a lot more open and progressive and... Uh, but, you know, we just thought he should switch because Coon and Friends kind of isn't going anywhere. Oh, God, see, if the new kid came to me and said, uh, how do I quit Coon and Friends? And since I hate Coon and Friends, I decided to help him out. You get anything? The aluminum foil on his helmet seems to be blocking my abilities. Don't trust them, Doc. They can't see what you've been working on back there. What if the new kid really wants to switch? We can see if the new kid's intentions are pure. We're sending Tupperware on a very important mission today. You can help him with that mission. I don't need backup, especially not a noob. Easy, Tup. Remember the Freedom Pals motto. Yeah, retribution, but with inclusion. I'll send you the details on the mission. When you get there, we can begin. In the meantime, I must get back to my work. Looking for answers? Mr. Connor sends his regards. He wanted to come himself, but he's a very busy man. He mentioned some horrible tragedy happened to your mother. 
Funny how a few moments in our lives can completely change who we are, huh? And now you're gonna be taken out by assassins known as the City Ninja Service. <laughs> You know what to do with him when you're done. Hey, wait, you forgot to pay me! After it's done. No, 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 you hire services of a shitty ninja service, you'll pay in advance! That's, a, that's on the website! You don't sound Japanese, are you sure you're really ninjas? Yeah, yeah, I'm ninja, look at my fucking eyes! Come on, give me a check made out to a shitty ninja service! Just get it over with. Okay, hurry up, uh, we're from uh, Shitty Ninja. I'm afraid we got paid to assassinate you today, so uh, we have to do that, of course, on Russ. You want to pay us not to? $5,000. Okay, if you don't want to pay bribe, we're going to have to uh, murder you. a fresh wound. So hard to find a good ninja these days. All right, kid, this is a very important mission. Are you sure you're up to it? Well, come on! Let's go, Freedom Pals! We're here for the community service! Oh, wonderful, everyone! Some of the local children are here to sing for us! Right. Oh. Oh. Eh. Oh. I love to play my triangle, my triangle goes... When, when I am sad, I love to hear my triangle go. It cheers me up. And it makes me smile. You suck! We're sorry, folks. This kid's new. I love, I love to, to play, play my triangle, my triangle goes. Ooh. I love to play my mandolin, my mandolin goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my mandolin go. It cheers me up. And makes me smile. Get off the stage! Eh? I love to play my mandolin, my mandolin goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. <coughs> When I am sad, I love to hear my fugal horn go. It cheers, it cheers me up. Oh, oh, it's disgusting. And it makes me smile. from the news! Ah, that's the kid going around taking out all the drugs in town! The vigilante wants to take our poker set! What? Ah. Doc, this is Mysterion. We had some trouble, but the mission is complete. Nice work, everyone! New Kid, congratulations. You're officially a member of Freedom Pals. You can join us tonight on our mission to the police station. We've ascertained that the police are being paid off by whoever's running crime in the city. That's right. We believe we'll find the answers to what's going on there. Welcome to the team, friend. We'll see you tonight. Don't tell anyone we're going to the police station. All right, guys, listen up. But Lord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where little bitches said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here. Lame-ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? 
Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. Butlord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. We're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then, whose superhero franchise would be number one? We did make a promise to Classy. Everyone get home and get to bed. We have a big job to do tonight. That'll be all, Butlord. Go home and wait to hear from the Freedom Pass. What? What do you want now? What? Again with the puppy eyes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No, new kid? Absolutely not. You cannot have another class. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. I know that you want closure, but... Oh. No, I guess I don't know how it feels. You're right. You're right. Maybe you should have just one more class. You were laying in bed and you heard your mom screaming. You walked out into the hallway. The store! And before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. Oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. How people can do that to other people, I just... I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. You stupid fucking cow! Have another glass of Chardonnay, why don't you? I have to drink to deal with you! That marijuana is changing you somehow! At least marijuana is natural, not like... grapes! You're fucking hot! Maybe so, but I'm not telling everyone our child's secrets! We'll be paranoid some more in your room, Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! We'll be paranoid some more in your room, Have Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Oh, hey, kiddo! Daddy's gonna go upstairs to his room. Mommy's gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Sweetie, you forgot to eat your dinner. Mommy put it down on the table. Come on, honey. Gotta eat your supper. Did you put more of that stuff in our child's food? Shut your fucking mouth! How do we know that medicine doesn't have side effects, huh? You know our child needs the medicine as much as I do! Uh, you drunken whore! Fucking butthead! How dare you make our child choose sides! You put the medicine in his food! Too. I'm not having anyone choose sides. Go on down and eat your supper, champ. New kid, get dressed and meet me out front. Hurry, the night awaits. Cool room. All right, Freedom Pals, here's the plan. Once we get inside the police station, Tool Shed and the new kid will set up a diversion and then the... Wait a minute. What the fuck? Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, we've got to get inside the police station. What are you assholes doing here? We're here to investigate a hot lead regarding the South Park Police. Ah, that's what we're doing! Oh, no. No, no. This is our superhero mission, Freedom Pals. Fuck you guys. Get lost before there's a fight. Fellas, fellas, have we all forgotten there's a little girl in trouble in there? Fast Pass is right. I suppose that just this once we should put our petty differences aside and work together. All right, Mysterion, what's the plan? I think some of us should cause a diversion. Make the cops head towards it so the rest of us can sneak in without the cops noticing. Good idea. Coon friends will go up the fire escape and cause the diversion so Freedom Pals can sneak in the front. This is all pretty coincidental. Did you guys just steal our lead again? Innocent people are being arrested, Toolshed. That's all that matters to us. It should be all that matters to you. Okay, Coon friends up the fire escape. Come on, guys. Oh, man, that's strong shit. Yeah, does this coke seem a little off to you? No, no, this is sweet. You guys want to call some hookers? What the fuck was that? Come on, let's check it out. Bring the coke. All right, come on, Butlord. The coast is clear. That's enough. Just stand down, kid. Look, I know why you're here. You're fed up. Because you think all cops do is harass black people. I know that to a young kid it can seem like cops are racist and bigoted, but you can't believe what the media tells you. Cops are just people, like you, your friends, your family. 
people who work hard to boop. Oh, uh, Tupperware! Damn it, Levinsky, get your ass upstairs, sir! And turn on the alarm! That fucking asshole shot at me! Get him! They're trying to free the criminal! Get down, get down! Okay, okay, I know this looks bad. You really think cops just go around arresting black people for no reason? What purpose could that possibly serve? It's reverse discrimination, that's what it is. If we were all black cops and our jails were filled with white people, nobody would say a word. So I guess you've learned that the real bigots here are you. Huh, kids? Guess you can all go home. No? Fuck. We're innocent, so breaking out of jail isn't a crime, right? I'm not sticking around to find out. I smell a class action lawsuit. Supreme Court, here we come. Token, what did I tell you about playing too rough? Mom, I was defending justice. I don't care what you were defending. You could have gotten hurt. But Tupperware can't get hurt. He's impervious to pain. Is he impervious to getting his butt spanked? No. That's right. You know what a cop is, new kid? A cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. That mayor has been sitting in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? Holy shit, that scramble! What? You found the missing cat, butt lord! Freedom pals, we've got the police chief, top floor! What can I say, you kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. This is a trap! I'm sorry, kids, but you left me no choice. He's still looking good, eating the Subway sandwiches. His name is Jared, and he's still looking good. Hey, kids. You want some candy? Oh, fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. What are the police doing with the people they arrested? Oh, how should I know? I'm just a sandwich guy. New kid, fart in his face. No, no, please, please, I'm sorry. I'll tell you anything. What is the police chief hiding? There's, there's more cells down below. Cops take that elevator. Prisoners go down there, but they don't come back. What's the code? Uh, come on, how should I know, huh? Ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, I seen him type it in. 1477, please, I, I'm sorry. It's just that... I like being with children, you know, because I because I never had a childhood of my own. Yeah, that's it. I like kids because I never had a childhood. It's your decision, new kid. Part of being a superhero is deciding what to do in moments like these. Wow, dude, that was hardcore. All right, well, that was pretty uncomfortable. I know being a vector for disease is kind of my thing, but I, I feel kind of dirty. Should we do anything with the body? Yeah. <sighs> this is a one-time shot, Coon. After tonight, we are enemies again. Our petty little differences aren't what matter right now, Mysterion. Black lives matter. Yeah, dick. You're a fucking dick, Mosquito. Huh? What was that? Hello? Hello, is someone there? No, I guess no one's there. Or else they would have said something. All right, then. It's just me and you, Kitty. No one's gonna find us in here. Come on. Give me that good stuff. Hey, stop it. Hold still. Oh, bananas. The cat got away. I can't see a thing in here. Sounds like the cat's getting into the toxic chemicals. Darn it, that's not good. I hope those weren't the toxic chemicals I was just talking about that broke on the floor just now. <laughs> oh no, I, I think they were. Drat. If those chemicals mix together on the floor, it'll turn into a gas that'll kill me in seconds. Blast it, there's the gas. Yes. <coughs> it's definitely killing me now. <coughs> oh. oh, thank God. The exhaust fan's sucking out the toxic gas. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Now, where's that blasted cat? 
Oh no. I think the cat just jumped into the exhaust fan and jammed it. The gas is filling up the room and it's killing me again. I'm dying again. <laughs> Sounds like the emergency door closed. Yep, the emergency door closed. I'm trapped in here. I need to get out of here. I just have to <coughs> feel around for the doorknob. Here, here it is. Yes, I'm saved. Oh, blast it. The door's locked. Now I'm stuck in here. Somebody help me. The gas is killing me. I'm really dying this time. Seriously, I can feel myself dying. It's so painful. Help! For the, for the love of everything up here. If you're there and you can heal me right now, do something. It's it's killing me. It's killing me. Wait. I think I feel the light switch. With my last breath, I'll just turn it on. Yeah, yeah, Shabnigarath. Black goat of the woods, blessed be us, your faithful servants, the destroyers of light. Yeah, yeah, Shabnigarath, black goat of 1,000 morbid young, draw down the moon and extinguish the sun. All right, let him go. No! Ah, uh, sir? Huh? Oh, I see. I guess because cops feed African Americans to an elder god, they're racist. Shub Niggeroth is an outer god, kids, who must be appeased and whose coming was foretold by the great H.P. Lovecraft. But I suppose H.P. Lovecraft was a racist too. Oh, fuck. Was he really? Like, like how racist? Really, really? Yo, it's my homeboy! Give me the fuck up out of here! These niggas completely cry! Let's end it! Alright, you kids want a battle? Let's do this. Okay, chuck another one in. Aw, oh, fucking hell no! Ow! Oh, shit! No! The All-Mother can't stand white meat! Guys, I think we need to move it! The All-Mother demands black flesh! Welcome. Who are you? Oh my god, you guys! We've got a hundred bucks to get our franchise off the ground! Fucking cooted friends! Fuck yeah, you guys! We did it, dude! That was awesome! One hundred dollar reward money, here we come! Whoa, whoa, wait! What's going on? Where are you taking that cat? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, Freedom Pals. There's, a uh, certain intel we have that we can't share with you. You know, it's classified. That's because we've been tricked! Ah, oh, fuck. The new kid played us, Freedom Pals. Wanting to join our side was a ruse. What? Yeah, the new kid kinda totally fucked you guys over, sorry. They followed our lead to the police station and now intend to get a hundred dollar reward for that missing cat. Well, all is fair in love and war, Freedom Pussies. <laughs> I love when you call them Freedom Pussies. You assholes! We're the ones that stopped the police chief's evil plan. We deserve that hundred dollar reward. Oh yeah? Just try and take it from us. We will! Civil War Three, it's going down! That's it, new kid. We're gonna rip you apart! No, Mysterion! We won't fight the new kid. They will. Alright, new kid. Time to die! Let's get this little shit! I'll hold him off, Flagkick! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> My trusty helmet must shield me from your mental back. Well fought, new kid. I guess we'll have to settle this the old-fashioned way. Whoa, what the... what happened? How'd my lip get busted? Where the fuck did Classy go? Dr. Timothy! You fucking animal! He was trying to help us! Dude, Mysterion is pissed at you, new kid. You guys started this war, not us! You don't fucking understand! Dr. Timothy was working on a way to save all of us! Freedom Pals and Coon Friends! What? Ah, uh, Tim... Tim Easy, Doc. You've taken a lot of hits. Wow, this is your guys' base? This is fantastic. This looks like so much fun. Yeah, I mean, Coon Lair has a lot of cool stuff, too. But yeah, this is cool. Dr. Timothy was never your enemy. He was trying to help us all. But how? With this. 
Oh my god, he figured it out. It was Dr. Timothy's passion. He worked tirelessly on it. A franchise plan that involved everyone. Each hero got their own movie and TV series. Every hero mathematically equal to the other. Jesus, this is incredible. Timothy almost worked himself to death trying to come up with it. <laughs> so while we were out trying to stick it to you guys, Timmy was actually trying to include us. Yeah, and then this kid nearly killed him. We're sorry the new kid is an asshole. That isn't our fault. Yeah, we were just using you guys. There's a hundred dollar reward for this cat. And you wanted her to yourselves. Yeah, but not anymore. If we proved anything tonight, it's that we are the best when we are all together. It's too late for that. We all started as one team. We all wanted to be superheroes for the same reason. To sell our franchise and make millions of dollars. Let's be one team again. I agree. Come on, guys. No more civil war. Let's get the reward money for this cat and use it together for one franchise. Yeah, let's do it. All right. But we're calling it Freedom Pals? Freedom Pals. And so, like, Timmy is sort of the leader of Freedom Pals? He's like, the, he's like the one in charge? Yes. Well, I think it's awesome. Honestly, Freedom Pals is a way better name than Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. I'm super cool with this. Then it's settled. Tomorrow, we get the reward money for Scrambles, and we use it to kickstart Timmy's franchise plan. Together. Freedom Pals. Retribution. But with inclusion! inclusion. Fuck yeah, you guys. Let's do this. The news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, Sal Park. An attack on the SPPD police station last night has left citizens in shock and disbelief. With prisoners now on the loose and policemen in the hospital, one member of the Chamber of Commerce has had enough and is announcing his bid for mayor. The citizens of South Park deserve to feel safe. Safe from vigilantes who go around farting on people's heads. Together, we can free ourselves from the anal terrorism that has been forced upon us. My name is Mitch Connor, and I endorse this message. plan. All that work. It's barely even readable. It must have come in the night. Got past the security grid. <laughs> Who the hell would do this? I'll bet it was the sixth graders. Only they would stoop to this level. No, this was someone who wanted to hurt us personally. Yes, Siri. Incoming video message. Play the message. Full screen. Oh. Oh. What is this place? Hey, isn't that the new kid's parents? <laughs> this is a message to Coon and friends. Oh, God damn it! Looks like I have something that the new kid wants. That's good, because the new kid has something that I want. Connor, that son of a bitch! Care to make a trade, new kid? Let's make a deal. Hey, listen, you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't... <laughs> 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 he hit me! Did you see that? Get outside, and then do exactly as I say, new kid, or you will never see your parents again. And hurry! Or else there'll be more of this. Where are they, fat ass? Where is who, human cat? The new kid's parents, where are they? How should I know? Because that's fucking you. You took the new kid's parents because you hate that we merged with Freedom Pals. That's not true. I want this mega franchise more than anybody. Tell him, guys. You have five seconds, Cartman. I'm on your side. New kid, you believe me, don't you? Yeah. I'll prove my innocence, you asshole! Come on, we gotta get that fat back! What'd he tell you? Oh, whoa, isn't that the vigilante? I don't know if you're a hero or a menace. Man, this coffee really has me buzzed. Hello? It's for you. That's real good, new kid. But now I'm gonna make things a little harder on you. Instead of telling you where to go, I'm giving you a riddle. You ready? A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes. 
Go into this door to find what your prize is. Dude, I'm so wasted on this stuff. So, you think you can outsmart a shitty ninjas? Oh, don't think you can run from a shitty ninja. You see, shitty ninja always have a backup plan. You have made many enemies in this town, vigilante. And now, you will have to face us all at the same time. Group leaders, take us out of Sixth graders! Raising girls assemble! They took our jobs! Rabbi Ha ha, vigilante! Everybody mad at you! Prepare to die! Where's everyone else? Doesn't matter. There's no time. Let's get this fat turd while we can. All right, one, two, three. <gasps> oh my God, look! Where, where, where? If it isn't the Freedom Pals and their newest recruit. What have you done with the new kid's parents, fat ass? Nothing yet, but when I'm finished with you, I can't say they'll be exactly safe. This has gone far enough. We end it now. The only thing about to end is you, Mysterio. We aren't gonna fight you, Carmen. Now put your stupid hand down and stop playing games. We have to stop him, you guys! He's got all the new kids followers now! Even with their help, you can't stop me, Keen. We'll see about that, motherfucker! Alright, Cartman. You want us to kill Mitch Connor? We'll fucking kill him! <laughs> Where are they? Where are the new kids' parents? <laughs> You'll never know. I don't know! Shit, he's gone! Come on, we're taking this fat piece of shit back to base. What fat piece of shit, human cat? The only way we're going to get Carmen to talk is to torture him. Yeah, sometimes torture is the only answer. You're gonna torture me? For what? Everyone get back to Freedom Pal's base. We have to make this shithead talk. What are you talking about? Guys, it's me, the king. What the? You're gonna talk, Cartman. New kid, you're going to have to make Cartman talk. What? What are you gonna do with that? You guys are wasting your time. I'm the king. Torture doesn't work against me, remember? Is that a cuttlefish? Oh, no, I, I, I prefer salmon myself. See? It, it doesn't even phase me. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we start looking for the new kid's parents? No, Zach. Not, no, not even a little bit. I can gobble those farts up. See? Yum, 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 yum. Guys, I really wish we could just wrap this up. No, oh, no, 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 that's fine, don't bother me at all. Hit him again. Oh, jeez. Well, I, I guess we're done here, huh? Can someone reach around and get this knot? Oh, no, you're not going to eat that vomit-covered broccoli. It's not organic. Oh, now that's pretty gross, you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys might as well give up. They're not... <coughs> Oh, wait, 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 you guys! Oh, my God! Oh, the, the cats! What cats? I just remembered! Connor! I think the, the fudge jarred my memory. The, he said something about making cats more powerful than... The, the, yeah, that's it! He must he must want to genetically alter the cats! The genetics lab! Dr. Mephesto. Yes, that must be it, cats! Kid! Can I help you? Yeah, hi! We signed up for the tour! Ah, uh, yes, the night tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree, we're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? Uh, about six hours. All right, just wait six hours and we're good to go. Holy shit, dude! What the hell just happened? Oh, dude, it smells like rotten meat out here! Well, it looks like it's nighttime. Everyone regroup. Hi, we're here for the tour! Ah, yes, come in. Oh, some young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir! My, my, there's a lot of you. Come in! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. 
Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four assed gorilla feeding. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering what ever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh jeez, I think that was us. So you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck? Would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. The problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on top. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor. If you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pass. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. Student sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. Ugh, school's so dumb. Parents are dumb. Yeah, adults are stupid. Oh, Jesus. It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it! Not it! Not, not it! it. Not, not, it. it. <laughs> not it! Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your... <laughs> oh, look at the little fourthy! Uh, work. Hey, 
Jasper, get over here, dude. There's a picture of some boobs, man. Boobs? I want to see some boobs. Where? God, you've got to stop him. He's out of his mind. Cartman, you fucking asshole. What are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I joined the Chamber of Commerce and used them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into a genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take a selfie! You know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor. Oh no? I've got all the new kid's followers. Every last one of them is now following me. Geez, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. No, no, no. God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. <laughs> Looks like you've run into mutant sixth graders. Oh, and they look hungry. Don't get eaten. Sixth graders came out of nowhere. My legs are broken, sweetie. Mommy can't walk. You have to go into town and get help. Sweetheart, listen to me. They were about to cut off your father's head to scan his DNA. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you have to finish the job. The only way out of here is to kill Daddy. I heard that! What the hell is wrong with you? Can I have a conversation with our child without being criticized? Oh, you're the victim again, huh? Like you don't deconstruct everything I say. Okay, Mr. Never Wrong in its life. Go, go do it, sweetie. Go cut off Daddy's head. Hurry! Did she say how nothing is her fault like usual? I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child choose sides! That's so unfair! I'm trapped inside of a tube thingy! My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I move! You hear that? Go get mommy's arm. That should do it. No! No, kiddo! That operates the laser! Stop! You're gonna kill daddy! Ouch! No, please, baby. I've lost a lot of blood already. Please! Your mom has you confused! She's the problem! Go kill her! I've done nothing but love you! This is your last chance! Don't hit that last button! Uh, no! If you take my arm, it will kill me! Please, don't kill Mommy, sweetheart! Mommy loves you! Okay, wait, wait, wait! Is this... Is this about the medicine I put in your food? We only did it to protect you! Your dad knew it had side effects! Go ask him! Go ask your dad about the side effects! Hey, wait, wait, wait! Before you do this! Before you do this! Go ask your mom about what she's been putting in your food! Trust me! Just go ask her, you'll want to know this! Organic DNA sample accepted. There we go. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You're just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends! Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're gonna tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch. Ah! You shut up, Coon. We need each other, don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck. I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What have you done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? 
by creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, King? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's cool because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA, so I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? Amazing, dude. I've never heard anyone rip one like that. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed the tour. Maybe now you have a new appreciation for what genetic engineering has to offer. You're now all free to exit right through the gift shop. Gift shop? Feel free to look around before enjoying the rest of your day. Perhaps you'd like to buy a I Survived Genetic Mutants t-shirt or purchase a photo of you enjoying the tour. Lots of great things to remember your visit. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was bullshit. All right, we gotta go tell on Cartman. Uh, who do we tell? I don't know, what time is it? It's... Oh, shit! Oh, no! What is it, Mysterion? Dude, the new kid farted so big, he made it next week! What? Check your phones! It's ten days later! Oh, great! The new kid farted us to next week! Damn it! He screwed us! Way to go, new kid! Cartman's being sworn in as mayor today, and it's all the new kid's fault! Come on, Freedom Pals, we have to stop him! The whole mayor's office is blocked like a fortress! How can Cartman do that? He can do whatever he wants! He's mayor! Look! Up in the window. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna pass so many laws and fuck you guys so hard right now. Oh no. It's over. We lost. But we can't lose. Face it, Kyle. Thanks to the new kid, Carmen is mayor, and there's no one left to help us. New kid. New kid, come in. Who is that? Pretty sure that's Morgan Freeman. New kid. There's been some kind of time shift anomaly. I can only assume it came from your ass. Come to the taco shop. We have to fix this. You heard the man. All Freedom Pals report to Freeman's Tacos now. Morgan Freeman says he can help us stop Cartman. How do we stop him now? He's already been elected mayor. It's the new kid's fault. He ported us forward in time. New kid, your farts have sped up time. We have to somehow go back and stop Mitch Connor from ever rising to power. This is the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme. The last time someone tried it, they farted so bad it created a wormhole that made time travel possible. Now, I have to warn you, friend. Once you eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme, there is no going back. Make sure you have everything you need before you eat this. Do you understand? So you're ready to eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme? Oh, shit! New kid, I don't think it's working. Are you sure you're believing in yourself? Oh, no. You didn't believe in yourself. You didn't believe in yourself. Christmas! Happy holidays, y'all! Yeah, it's Christmas again! Let's get fucked up! What the fuck? We're too late! The new kid sent us forward in time! To when Carmen is already mayor! You have to take us back, new kid! Back to before this all happened! It isn't working! I think maybe the new kid has a fractured butthole! Fractured butthole? 
That's ridiculous. Toolshed is right. We have to get the kid to a doctor fast. Be careful, new kid. South Park is a really scary place on Christmas. Oh, hey, boys. Merry Christmas. I'm so fucked up. I feel like it's been Christmas for a year. What they put in these drinks? Mr. Mackey, there's cheese in your alcohol. You have to stop drinking. No, but it's the holidays, boys. You guess nothing wrong with a little drink on the... Oh, God, it's them again! Now, don't be scared, y'all. We're simply here to celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody! Hey, look, it's the vigilante the mayor told us about. If we murder him, we get a prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Over, man! Wait a minute, it's Christmas. I know who can help. New kid, you have to pray to Christ. Yes, yes, of course. New kid, you have to put your faith in Christ. Do you understand? Pray to Jesus, new kid, it's our only hope. That's not enough, new kid! You have to pray to Christ more! Beg for his salvation! Come on, new kid, put your faith in Jesus! Pray to Christ, or we're all dead! The new kid did it! Someone's coming! Who the fuck called Santa down from the sky? You killed my reindeer! Ho, 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 yeah. Hey, look! It's Santa Claus! Santa Claus? Well, now maybe we can eat his flesh. Hail Satan! Oh, you little fuck critters again, huh? Santa's gonna kick the shit out of you! Well, shucks, we weren't expecting Santa to show up. Whatever will we do? We're in a bit of a bind, Rabbity. Don't be sad, Barry. Shucks, I can just sacrifice myself. Hooray! Thanks for your help, Santa. You're welcome, kids. Now what the fuck is this all about? We're sorry, but we're trying to go back in time, but the new kid has a fractured butthole, so we're trying to get him to the abortion clinic. Oh, I see. All right, you kids get his ass fixed. Santa will hold off these drunken fuckwads. Get moving to the abortion clinic. Stand back, kids. We got a lot of abortions today. It's Christmas. We need a doctor to look at our friend's asshole. Let me guess. He's got a big crack down the middle. Ha ha. No! Please, you have to listen. None of this is supposed to happen. The mayor has to be stopped. We know how to do it. The mayor? That scumbag made the town the shithole it is today. We can put a stop to it. Please, just look at our friend's ass. Yeah, it's fractured, all right. Can you fix it? Well, I put a splint on it and a little sling to take pressure off the sphincter. Try it, kid. Try to take us back. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, you gotta come fight, my liege. You are only hope. Who's that? Hey, we're not playing superheroes, dumbass. Come on, new kid. Gotta stop Carpin before he starts all this. What are you kids doing? We stopped playing superheroes like five days ago. Yeah, get lost, juice bags. This isn't a drink, it's me, Craig. Fuck you, dude, I'm Craig. We don't have time for this. Stand aside, we have to get to Carpin. Well, you just have to get past us and our king. This warrior can handle these weirdos. For the king. For the king. All hail the king. This is a job for the king, cutting rogue. You're not gonna last long fighting all of us yourself, Cass. Well, I wouldn't be so foolish, stupid Craig. Mujin no jutsu. Are you serious? That's so fucking lame. 
Uh, guess I gotta take this asshole on. Guards of the Dark Court, assist me in defeating these assholes. Rawr, for the king! Yes, for the king! You're a formidable foe, ask me, but I'll defeat you. Even with your guards, you're no match for us. Wow, past Kyle had such a cool costume. What happened? Hey! Don't worry, I got this. We will fight by your side, my lead. Oh, hey! Ah! We're back! You kneel before the king, future new kid! Oh, you cannot cross here? This is all lava! We don't have time for this shit! Oh my god, how'd he do that? Are you joking? It's like the rules don't even matter. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh, hi kids, I believe Eric is up in his room. Guys! I was just traveling back in time to find you! A cat's missing. There's a big reward. Wait, why are you guys already playing superheroes? We know what you're up to, fat ass! Mysterion? But you're with the Freedom Pals! We're all Freedom Pals! We're from the future, you fat turd! No, I'm from the future. I was just coming back to Stick of Truth Times to get you guys. We aren't playing anymore! We know everything! Show us your left hand! My left hand? For what Show us your fucking left hand! Heh. <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. Time travel. Ain't it a bitch? Connor! What the hell are you doing here? I had a plan to use the new kid as means to get what I always wanted. But it looks like some do-gooders traveled back in time to stop me. Cartman, I swear to God, if you don't knock it off, I'm- But that's okay, because I still know something you all don't. What's that? How to make someone fart super bad by hitting them in the solar plexus. Yeah! Connor, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we now, Connor? We're in the time that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. And you walked to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, Coon? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. <sighs> you heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Yes! Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Fight your younger self, so that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door. Bad guys? Hey man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with the, like a zillion followers, right? We just thought, well we thought that if you could add us, and maybe, you know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh boy, oh boy. Our moment, our moment is finally here. Wow! Ready when you are, new kid! It's happening! <gasps> we did it, everyone! Oh, hey, kiddo! Everything alright? Go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad! You saved your mom, new kid! <laughs> That's right! And now there's nobody left to stop me! I'm off to another team, team, team! Connor, no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God. I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest. But only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities. Powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day I created a Facebook profile, and within a few hours, I had over three million followers. My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love. Inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes. By day, they ran experiments. And by night, we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's 
You received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. And by the time they cut the umbilical cord, you were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape, because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. And we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god, I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey, I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh, God, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too? in downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? Alright, let's get this thing started! Look, butt lord! Today is a great day for South Park! This town has sucked for a long time and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor! It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls Find the turn shit around! You did it, Butler! It's inauguration day! We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor! Let's do this! He'll stop this fucker! There he is! Guys? Y you're alive? Oh, thank God! Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in! Come on, guys, we gotta stop him! You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit! You're gonna finally admit this was all you! I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys! Stop this! You are Mitch Connor! Admit it, Cartman! No, I'm not, Cal! Admit it! No, Cal! I have no control over Mitch Connor! You are Mitch Connor! You've always been Mitch Connor! And you better stop right fucking now! Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens! That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you! What's the matter, Kim? Shoes on the other hand? Kyle, fucking knock it off! Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why! I'm not making it up, dude! That's your fucking hand, asshole! Stop fucking trolling me! How is he trolling you, Keen? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful! Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See? This is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys! <laughs> this is just what I wanted! All the coon friends at each other's throats! Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see? That proves it! See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me? Or the king? <laughs> fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it! Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Damn you guys. This isn't fair! I'll say. Well, 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 good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. Oh, god fucking damn it, sir. Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Ugh, just put your hand down! You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Let's dance, Faker. Freedom Pass. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them. Cartman, this is your fault. <laughs> dude, dude, enough already. You gotta drop it, Kyle. You fucking drop it, fat ass. Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us! Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he! Fine! Maybe I'll admit it! I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys! But only if Kyle admits to it first! I'm not saying anything! Until he does! You admit it first! Alright, fine! We'll both admit it at the same time, alright? On three, we'll both say I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine! Okay, fine! One, two, three! I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha! Oh, you asshole! And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor 
who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait! Wait, stop! No! What's going on here? Just finish the ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and Friends franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole! Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. What? Look! Mitch Connor's plan? Hey, they're right! You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh? Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already! Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch? Mitch, it's over. Ma'am? What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Whoa! What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, kid! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this. Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when you snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Then just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you! Well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody! Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over! Let's yeah! Go! <laughs> you're the Tickle Bunny. No, you're the Tickle Bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. For a moment, Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, new kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always fuck your mom. <laughs>